So we've been working a bit with the micro bit now, and I'm going to have a party, and I'm thinking that I'm going to do a, a quiz on the party with sort of true or false questions. And I'm thinking if we could use the micro bit in some way to show the result uh, as the quiz progresses. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I guess you could like make some kind of arrow that, that points in the direction of like true or false, uh, which you can control with your micro bit. Ah, OK, so you're thinking I'm using this as the sort of controller and then the, the sort of arrow, it's on some other thing and it could like move. Move. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what, what do we need to do that? Uh, well, let's see. Well, we need the micro bit. We have that. Uh, we need the servo motor. We need some cables to connect it all together. Uh, we'll need a computer to program your micro bit. Uh, and maybe some more materials to make it like a nice arrow and a nice sign. Yeah, because I want it to really look good, like mm. a TV show thing. Mm. So where do we start? Uh, well, we could start with uh, connecting together the electronics, I would say. So first the electronics and then the programming, the programming yeah. and then we'll do the aesthetics after that. Yeah. yeah. So we have this little servo over here. It's actually a small uh, version. Usually the standard servo, I think, is a bit bigger. And as you can see, it has three cables coming out. In this case, they're colored brown, orange, and yellow. These colors can be different depending on which servo you have. But we have the brown one in this case is for ground. The orange one is for uh, power, and the yellow one is for signal. So the signal is what determines in which angle the servo is going to be. And to connect this to the micro bit, we need some cables. First of all, we have these prototyping cables because they fit nicely into the servo motors connector there. And then from here, we continue with uh, these cables with crocodile clamps because those fit nicely into the micro bit. Then we connect the micro bit out to the cables and to the computer, upload the code and see where we are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, where do we start? We start with uh, the prototyping cables. So I'll take the... Let's see. Uh, let's do the orange one in the middle here. And then the black brown. brown one. Yes. And then I'll take the dark one here to the, to the brown, I guess. Mm -hmm. Does it matter how I put the crocodile clamp on? Well, it's good if you put it uh, in this 90 degree angle on the metal, of course, yeah. Like so. Because then they stay on nicely. And then I'll take the orange one here, like so. Yeah. And, and a yellow one. A yellow one there. And when you put this down, it's also good to check that they don't touch each other because then you can get shortage and all those kind of issues. So now I'm going to connect these to the micro bit. Mm -hmm. And the black one is ground, ground, and I'll put that on the G and D. And here uh, is this is how I put it. Or yeah, I think this is a very good way to put it because now you have a, a big surface to have a good contact with. Uh, you can also put them like so. up like that, but yeah, you can experiment which way works best. So I'll put it there, mm -hmm. and the red one. That's power. So exactly. that's the three volt one here. Yeah. And the yellow, yellow one, one. Uh, is on one of the pins. Yep. So I'll put it on the pin here. Like so. Exactly. And then we connect the micro bit oh, yes. to the computer. Micro USB cable. OK, so then we need to go in and do some code. Hmm? So hmm. what exactly is it that you want the micro bit to do? Well, I want to take, um, use, use the servo mm. uh, for the arrow. Mm. So that would be the output. Mm. Uh, and as an input, I would use the button. So when I press A, I would want it to go to uh, true. Mm. Mm. And when I press B, I want it to go to false. Yeah. So, yeah. so basically, when you press A button, go to a position. Yeah. When you press B button, go to another position. Uh, I would want another position, the sort of mid in between, when you don't have a question and mm -hmm. it's like just mm -hmm. not in any one yeah. place. Well, you can also use, if you press both buttons, uh, something else happens. So we could use that for the in between position. Yeah, okay. So uh, A, B, and A, B. Yeah, both together. <laughs> both together. So let's go in and see what we can do. So as the input, 
I want to use the buttons, so I'll go to the input. input. And there's the on button A pressed. Mm -hmm. That seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. And when I press the A button, I want the pin to activate, I guess. Yeah, so we want to control this uh, servo. Yeah. And we have it connected via the pins. So in the category pins. That's under it? advanced. Yeah. There you'll find a lot of blocks. And in this case, they also have blocks specifically for controlling servos. OK. So yeah, here I see servo right pin. Mm -hmm. So I'll connect that. So this block means that you put your servo to a certain position. And uh, you can see it says 180. You can see this as 180 degrees. So we can go. So I would want to, to copy this one yeah. and change the button, mm -hmm. I guess, to uh, B. And then I would want it to be the opposite. So 180, that would be 0. Yeah. We'll change that to 0. Zero position. And then we have the A and B together. Yes. So we so need it one more time. I'll duplicate it again. And we'll do the B to in between. That's 90 degrees. Yeah. But we, here we want A and B button. A and B button, yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Yes. Like so. OK. So then I'll uh, transfer the code. Mm -hmm. I'll go to download and open it in the finder. And I'll take the code and drag it to the microbit. And we should see the power or the LED here blink to mm -hmm. upload. And when it's done, we should be ready. Yeah, there we are. So now if I try to press A, mm -hmm. the server should go. Yeah. I'll press. Oh, nothing mm -hmm. happens. And B, nothing. Oh, nothing happens. Hmm. Okay. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. So, okay. So something is wrong. What, 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 <laughs> what do I do now? Yeah. Well, uh, in this case, we have both electronics and the programming. So we can have a, a problem either with the cables or with the programming, or maybe something else is wrong. For example, the servo could be broken. But I'm quite sure this one actually works. So I don't think the issue is there. Um, so where would I start to to look? Oh, Should we, we? We can start looking at the pro uh, at the programming. OK, so I'll go back to the code mm. and have a look. Uh, and here when I've done the press A, A pressed server right to the pin, mm. 0 to 180 degrees. Mm. And the button B pressed servo right pin to 0, zero mm. to 0. That seems right. Mm. And it's the same A with the A plus B, 0 to 90. Yeah, that looks good. So I don't see any problem there. No, OK. So it might be something with the cables. Yeah, they're connected properly. Yes. These cables are not touching each other. And it's still connected. Yes. And here, ah, oh, here I see it. <laughs> I uh, put the uh, cable on pin 1. Mm. But in the code, I assigned it to pin 0. Mm. So if I put it to 0. Yeah, and now we can hear the servo humming there. There we go. So try it again now. On A. Yeah. It's moving. And on B, yeah. And on A, B, yeah. Looks good. Yeah, so it seems to work. Should we uh, build it up together with the, uh, yeah, with the sign? Hmm? I can start okay. with building the arrow here. And you can do the base over there. Put okay. some, connect the arrow. Put some cardboard. So, filled on top. And here's the arrow. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And then we need to put on, if I press A, A and it goes there. to there. So I'll glue that onto there for true. And then if I press B. B. So I put the red one. We glue the red one to B. And when you press both, they should end up in the middle. Yeah. Looks good. We've managed to make the true or false sign. And we've also come to understand a bit about how to do a project from start to finish. And we've also come to understand a bit about debugging and problem solving.